All right, today we're going to self-level this bathroom floor. First things first, I got to fill these holes in. I got the kid mixing up some type S mortar just, just to get it in there to hold the floor up. Because I don't want to lose all my self-leveling down there. Self-leveling is expensive. Let me show you how bad this floor is. Wow. Let's see here what the tape measure says. Right there is a level. So right here it's an inch low. Then it gets worse. so out of whack they even soldered the radiator in crooked even the radiators off about an inch it's crazy first things first I'm gonna fill these holes in give me that mud run and a margin trowel gotta get this old foot give me that flashlight too Last thing I want is all my self leveling to run down there. That'll be a mess and a waste. You see it there? It's in the bucket with the other trail. It's just them two in the one bucket over by the window. It's right there. see if we can fill this in frame the house before you pour the concrete you get this kind of mess
a quarter bucket. So let me show you a little trick doing self level. I mean, you could just pour it out and see it by eye, but I'd rather put a guide in. Let's do that. You don't want to use wood because wood's always crooked. So I'm going to use this angle bracket. Let's get a length. go about 74 off a screw have it flat on the floor I mean you can see how bad the floor is right there but it's even worse screw in and there we go that's what I got to fill in under there and you can actually leave this in won't hurt anything you can tile right over it or you can take it out galvanized should be fine if it gets wet to make sure we're still good yep that kind of gives you a guide to go by you can put one on this side and come across with a screed if you want to and then you know you got it perfect but that's the whole point of using self-leveling but this just gives me a little guide to see how much more i have to pour out well, let's fill
finish filling these holes in. situation is not like this where you have to fill this in hopefully your framing was done on the concrete slab clean the floor a little bit and prime it yeah it's hard to see how bad the floor is from the GoPro so I'll try for my phone and give you an idea you see we're touching there and it's low it's low it's real low That's how much I gotta fill in. Looks around an inch, inch and a quarter. And it starts to come up again by the radiator. But it's still, so this, this is probably an inch and a half here. And that's probably an inch. So I need to bring it up to this metal here, to the bottom, Let's see if I, right here. Now I gotta see how the flange is. You see how high the flange is? That's no good. But this lip of the flange here, this quarter inch, three eighths, whatever it is, should be higher than the tile. The tile should come to the bottom of that. So let's see. Hmm. I may be good here. Let's see where the level is. Level's right about there. Uh, looks like I'm gonna so I put some shims in. Got it level. You know where my flange is. Looks like the level's about three eighths under, which is great because I got room to put the thin set and room to put the tile. I thought I may have to put an extension on the flange to bring it up, but I think we're gonna be good here. All right, so my next step, I gotta prime the floor with the Sika Primer concrete bonding agent. Let's do it. All right, time for the glue before we make it true. Just get yourself a donkey brush, throw away cheapy, big one. You can use a roller for this, but using a brush will apply it better. Unless you're doing multiple coats. I'm looking to do one here. Yep, run to the corner. trying to think of what went wrong here at first I thought it cracked here and then dropped but when I put the level it's good all the way to here and then right here it starts to go downhill so no actually they poured it this way I'm thinking they ran out of concrete in this corner and didn't want to call another truck 
don't leave any pulls in this. Try to get it nice, nice even coat. Generally, you run out of concrete, you go get some more. When you call for another truck, not here on this job. That chunky out of there. But well, I probably shouldn't say anything bad. I'm sure the people that built this house are no longer with us. From 69. because there's a lot of asbestos in this house. So obviously they, they were asbestos working with bulls. And they're probably no longer with us. done quick with a brush you don't always need a roller especially a small floor like this in a bathroom all right so I can literally feel it right here start to go downhill so I'm gonna stop right here because I may do something else up here I have some self level and epoxy I need to get rid of I may go over this all with that see what happens because this floor is real bad so I'm hoping to stop around here with the Sika self level one then I'll feather up here with the epoxy Hey Ryan, can you go out and clean this real good with the hose? Maybe I won't throw it away. Maybe I'll save it. Worked pretty good. All right, let's let's mix the first bag. So online it says a gallon and a quart to a gallon and a half. On the bag it says a gallon of water. So I got three half gallons here. I'm gonna start putting a gallon in. See how that does. It's no good. I'll put another half gallon. But you want it to be able to flow. If it's too thick, it's not gonna flow. So I'll put the gallon in like the instructions say and see what happens. Actually, that looks like enough. I don't know what people are talking about online, but we're gonna find out. Got the egg beater. for three minutes. Man, this looks good. I wouldn't make it any more wet than this. 
Give me that sword. Let me sit down and save my back for three minutes. This looks good. I don't know what they're talking about. Maybe Sika went back and reformulated it. Something. There's a lot of complaints on there. So one, one gallon did the whole bag hook? Yeah. So Sika knows. It's their product. They should know. Two minutes left. We go a little faster. Seconds, two seconds, one. Back to forward. Got a bucket of water, stick this in. So I know my deep spot is right there. So this is where I'm gonna pour right here. Every time, this is the first bucket, I may need two, three, four, whatever it is. I'm always gonna pour there and let it self level. You see guys, they're going all over pouring piles. What are you doing? You don't need to do that, it's self leveling. It'll go by itself. It's always best to start at the deep spot and pour slow. Just let it go. Looks to me like it's working nice. I don't know about those reviews online. Looks good to me. Let me stop for a minute. And I'm always going to pour right here. There's no need to move all over the place. Fill them jugs up with water, Ryan. We're gonna need two more. Right in the sink. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna need at least another two or three buckets. I think this time I'm just gonna put you guys down there on the floor 
and let you watch. Alright, here's the second bucket. And remember, pour in the same spot. Same spot. Let it self-level. you guys up a little bit about there all right here we go bucket number three I'm gonna try to go in the same spot and try to pour a little slower Tried to get a bigger tub to mix more of this at one time, but Home Depot's got nothing. They're out of everything. Watch your left shoot.
bucket number four. level for a while. Seems to be doing an excellent job. Looks like I got just enough room under that toilet flange to get the fin set and the tile. the floor is it's not even touching in that corner over there yeah I don't know seemed to work great for us it looks like you listen to what's on the bag one gallon of water to one bag of self-leveling and it's perfect you don't need a gallon and a half you don't need more than that and definitely no less than that you definitely need at least a gallon floor was 
That's four 50 pound bags right there in this small bathroom.